And we back at it again. Zim alone in his apartment with no friends. Making some designs, trying to get the ends. But I don't make no money, so life is kind of funny when you have to eat the bunny that's out on the street. Uh oh. <laughs> I, don't need, I, don't, I don't do that. What up, design champions? Welcome to episode five of Design Time. I hope your week has been really marvelous. Let's get started by grabbing something from the medium jar. Oh yeah, I really like these jars, they're kind of cool, mysterious. Our medium for today is a mobile app. Okay, that'll be fun. Perfect. Our project will be... Cool Backpacks Incorporated. That's tight. Okay, so we have to make a mobile app for Cool Backpacks Incorporated. Immediately what I'm envisioning is a mobile app that helps, that allows you to customize um, what you want your backpack to look like. I think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, there's no time to wait. Let's get going and make it great. Bada boom shakalaka. Cool Backpacks Incorporated will have one of the coolest mobile apps for designing a custom backpack. I've kind of gone with the premise that the app will ask you a few simple questions to see what kind of backpack you're looking for and then will allow you to customize kind of specifically with an interface. Now I'm going to plan out the flow of information on paper and I'm going to do this uh, pretty quickly with a sharpie so it won't look great. Here I am sketching out all of the pages. I wouldn't really call them pages, I'll call them screens because it's more in a mobile app. I'm sketching out all of the screens and info that I want on each screen yeah, <laughs> for the whole mobile app. I think I finish with about 11 different screens and I come up with some interesting ideas and ways to organize the information. But actually when I get into Illustrator, um, I redo these to make the frame, yeah, to make the wireframes just a little bit better and then I can really wrap my mind around where all the information is and how it flows. So let's do that. I worked off the paper that I drew with the black marker and I brought it all into Illustrator and I tightened up the flow of information. I actually got pretty detailed with this wireframe. I, I went into where I wanted the information, how the information would flow, and during this time I came up with some pretty good ideas to make the user know where they were in the process of customizing their backpack. It was pretty cool and I was ready to add some color. It was at this point that I realized this app is not looking good. It's purple and I have no idea why I've been choosing these colors. And frankly, there was a profile picture. Why is there a profile picture? So luckily I noticed this and I pivoted and I had a pretty good idea of what I could do to make the whole app a little bit more cohesive. So I started making a cool background and basically from this background, it helped me make the final changes on this app that really brought it together and gave it life. Let's take a look at what the app looked like in the end. Into the forest we go, where creepy crawly things unknown will sneak up and kill you or tickle your toe. Into the forest we go, where creepy crawly things unknown will sneak up and kill you or tickle your toe. I lost my phone where my mobile at, lost my mind, need a mobile nap. I'm so fly, need a Nobel Prize. This here design took a little bit of time, but it's pretty cool, I hope you'll find a mobile app to challenge my design sense and I'll beat the trends. Let's not pretend that this ain't sick. Color schemes are hard to pick, positioning things is difficult, kid, but simplicity always Wins. Simplicity always wins. Green and light blue, the gray fights through. A forest landscape definitely helps to create a feel that's almost surreal. A world is out there and it's better than you know. 
Into the forest we go, where creepy crawly things unknown will sneak up and kill you or tickle your toe. Into the forest we go, where creepy crawly things unknown will sneak up and kill you or tickle your toe. I had some difficulty because in the beginning I was going down the wrong road. I didn't really know exactly what the overall feeling should be. And then when I made a pivot and I decided that, hey, we should go for it. It should be a backpack company, it should be outdoors, all the colors should be outdoorsy. It really brought an awesome cohesiveness to the project. One thing I think is super great about the mobile app is the cohesiveness. The colors, the background looks like forest, and the fact that it's a backpack customization app. I think that's all really good. Something I could improve about this project. One idea I had that was really cool and interesting would be there's three colors for the backpack. Sandstone, forest, and charcoal. Maybe if you choose forest, the background is that forest background that we used. And if you choose sandstone, maybe the background then becomes a desert. And if you choose charcoal, then the background turns into a cityscape. I think that would be really cool and interactive and just add another deeper element to the app itself. Another thing I would probably improve would be right now we have the, when you're selecting what kind of straps you want, it's just bars. It's like rectangles. If I wanted to put more into it, I would make all of those straps look like real straps. That would be much better. Okay, remember to get out there and keep designing cool stuff for you and everyone else in the world to enjoy and be like, bam, that guy's cool, that girl's amazing. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, maybe leave in the comments below one thing that you liked about the app and one thing that you would improve. Next time, I'll see you later, alligator. And stay awesome, possum. What up, design champions? My name is Zimri. Welcome to episode 4, 4. Yes.